right? And if you're not going to shift your weight back, if you want to throw the hook, the least you can do is put your hand back up there, right? <clears throat> so you're blocking. You're blocking, you're feeling, you're occupying that space. You're doing something, right? This might not be the right answer. You might need to come back and block, right? You might even need to drop, right? But it's the fact that you're doing something, right? So it's easier to switch what you're doing than it is to recognize and react, right? So you need to be responsible when you're throwing those punches. Additionally, when we're throwing our uppercut here, right, I guess I should show the correct way to throw the hook real quick. <laughs> Right, and even though I'm swinging this hard, I'm keeping this back. Right, I'm not coming and then it contracting in. That's a different technique. It's a different technique for a different purpose. When you're up close here, you hit that right hand. Alright, palm down or inside. Whatever. Now for your uppercut. Alright. Nobody uppercuts like this. If you know how to box, you don't uppercut like this. You never start from here. Right? An uppercut is never even in linear motion. Right? When have you ever seen a boxer at a high level? Someone. It doesn't happen unless you're goofing around with them. Right? Because if I do that, that's the most obvious tell in the world. Right? Why would I be doing that unless I was purposely trying to use that to trick someone? Right? Maybe I go down here and then come up. What you do is you turn ever so slightly. You turn ever so slightly. Right? You come down here for a moment and you just simply twist into it your arm never extends right it becomes such a such a minuscule difference boom boom boom, boom. you even see the transition right? it's just an inch drop not even an inch I'm just changing this angle so now instead of being up here it's up here this comes right up same with my lead uppercut, right? <laughs> <laughs> 